Solve equations in quadratic form. Well, this is an expression, not an equation. But before solving equations, what we need to do is, we need to work on the expressions, which is on either side of the equality. So what I've done here is, I've actually taken an expression here to give you an idea how to write these expressions in terms of quadratic form and then to factor them. Because most of the time, solving equations is like factoring and then equating them to zero. Now, this expression cannot be factored directly, as you can see. Uh, but it is very close to a perfect square. We can write x to the power of 4 as x squared whole square, right? And we can write 25 as 5 squared. And so, we can expect this to be x plus 5 whole square. But strictly speaking, what is x plus 5 whole square? Let's expand it out. And we say x plus 5, rather x squared plus 5, because we have degree 4 here, right? What is x squared plus 5 whole square? x squared plus 5 whole square is x squared square, right? That is, let me write this as x squared square plus 2 times ab, which is 2 times x squared times 5 plus 5 square. Okay. We have first and the third term in our expression, but we don't have the middle term. There we have 6x squared, and what do we expect? We expect 10x squared, 2 times 5. So let me write this now as x to the power of 4 plus 10x squared plus 25. So what is missing? 4x squared is missing. Well, so what we can do is, since 4x squared is missing, we can add and subtract 4x squared right in our expression so so if we do so that means what we are trying to do is we are trying to make this 6x squared as 10x squared and how can I make 6x squared as 10x squared by adding 4x squared 4 plus 6 will make it 10 correct uh, so but I can't really add something and uh, change the expression just because I need to factor it right but I can add and subtract the same number so that is what I'm going to do here. So I'll add 4x squared and I take away 4x squared from the original expression which was x to the power of 4 plus 6x squared plus 25. So to this expression I added 4x squared minus 4x squared. See how it gets transformed now. So if I do this substitution then this equation can be written as so let me complete the factoring process now so this was an idea of how to get to few terms which could be added and subtracted to make your expression a perfect square so what we did is we were given the expression x to the power of 4 plus 6 x squared plus 25 to make it a perfect square we added and subtracted 4 x squared why we did so that was the reason I explained you in the very beginning. To make it a perfect square of x square plus 5 whole square, right? So we were short of 4x square. So we added and subtracted, correct? Now let me rewrite all this. And while rewriting, I will combine these four terms, okay? And then write. So what I have now here as x square whole square. I'm still writing this in terms of x square whole square since it becomes easy to understand how it could be written as a perfect square, right? 6x square plus 4x square is 10x square. So it is plus 10x square plus 5 square is 25 but I'm still writing 5 square which is this 25 and then I have minus 4x square minus 4x square. Correct? Now look at it. These three terms 
are same as these three terms which could be written as x square plus 5 whole square correct so I will do my completing the squares method It's kind of a completing the squares right and I write this as x square plus 5 whole square minus and what is 4x square 4x square could be written as 2x whole square right so when you square it you get 4x square well now you see an expression which is difference of squares right and I hope you remember how to factor difference of squares if you have a square minus b square it could be written as a plus b times a minus b correct so that is what we'll do and what is a for us a for us is x square plus 5 this is a for us and what is b for us b is 2x do you see that and therefore I can factor it now as a plus b which is x square plus 5 plus 2x times a minus b which is x square plus 5 minus 2x so that becomes the factored form of the given expression right I can always rearrange it's better to write x with exponents in decreasing order so I'll rearrange this and write down my answer as x square plus 2x plus 5 times x square minus 2x plus 5 I hope you understand the strategy of factoring such expressions which look like quadratic but they are not really and the techniques of quadratic factoring factoring quadratic expressions can be utilized here right so, so what we did was we noticed that our expression could be factored as a perfect square of x square plus 5 but then we felt that we are short of 4x square and therefore we added and subtracted 4x square to our expression and then make it kind of a factorable expression right so so we got by factoring difference of squares we got and then we got our answer I hope you appreciate it put in your comments and give your suggestions thank you